Hello, Network to Code community. This is Christian Adey, and I'm a senior network automation consultant at Network to Code. I'm here today to show you how the circuit maintenance plugin works. We are going to go first over the idea and the purpose of the plugin, and then show you how you can use it in the public sandbox. To finally wrap up with some ideas about how you can leverage on this plugin. So first, we have to solve the question about why do we need a circuit maintenance plugin? As you know, every network is built on top of a lot of circuits. And every circuit that you have will have periodic maintenances during its life cycle. It's what it is. We have a rough estimation about three maintenances per circuit per year. This means a lot of, of maintenances. And a maintenance, if it's not properly handled, could impact your operations and eventually your business. So this is something that we have solved so far manually but we know that this is time consuming and is prone to errors so it doesn't scale well we want here to change the paradigm from what we have already been doing this operator centric approach that takes a notification and changes the network to adapt to this notification to a dynamic approach where the control is moved to a source of truth to an autobot that will automatically fetch notifications from the network service providers, the NSPs. With this notification, it will parse the notification to get a standard object. This standard object then will be stored in the database and linked to the other elements, the circuits that are already in the database, so we can give a full view of what this circuit maintenance means. Finally, all this information will be exposed to your network automation via REST API, GraphQL, and with all this information and your own logic, you can then change the network, do the same things that you were doing before, but in an automated way. So changing your network, muting notifications, whatever has to be done. Let's jump into the demo. So let's start with the demo. As you already know, you have available your sandbox where you can access with demo nautobot.com. So we are going to jump into this where we have already populated a network and this means that we have multiple providers multiple circuits that we are going to use for this demonstration first of all we have to go into the plugin section and look into the circuit maintenance circuit maintenance have three main objects that we have to be aware of first thing is the notification sources that is the place where we are going to fetch the notifications from then when we fetch notifications we are going to create notifications and finally from these notifications hopefully we are going to get circuit maintenances Let's start first with the notification sources that we have. We have one defined for you, that is an IMAP integration. There is also available a Gmail API service account integration, but for now we are using IMAP on this one. And an email box where you can send your notifications to be parts on this sandbox. There is nb-alerts at network2code.com. We can validate that this works, so it's authenticated. And the important point is link some providers that are going to be the ones that we fetch notifications for. You can have multiple integrations. Something that we have to do also for the providers is define where is the source email address that we are going to use to receive notifications from. In this case, for entity, that is the one that we are going to use in the demo. We have this custom field for emails and we are going to use a fake email here. I used to send the notification from but here you can use your own emails good we have here this in place and now it's time to actually run and get some notifications and circuit maintenances you can create circuit maintenances manually so you can create your own circuit maintenance here in the UI but the power of the plugin is that you can fetch this dynamically and you can run this with this icon job to update circuit maintenance if we run this what is going to happen here in the backend is that we are going to connect to the source we are going to fetch the notifications and then we are going to parse all this information so here we have the result we got a notification with this example entity notification we created a circuit maintenance circuit maintenance we have to be aware that can change the state so if we receive another notification linking to the same circuit maintenance this will be an update of the maintenance and we receive that three different circuits have different impacts every circuit ha can have different impacts like no impact outage degraded these are standard 
standard status that are coming from a recommendation that we are using. So you will have this information in a way that you can rely on in order to take decisions. And finally, it's important to notice that on the same notification, we also got a reference to a circuit that don't exist, doesn't exist at all. So maybe this is something that we have to take into account, adding to the database, or maybe contacting back to the provider saying that, yeah, this is not up to us. Let's look into the information that a circuit maintenance provides. Obviously, all the information that we can get from this notification, like the status, this is important to see that is confirmed, something that is gonna happen, the start time of this maintenance, the end time, all the circuits that are linked to this circuit maintenance, the warnings about the circuit that don't exist, doesn't exist, and the notification itself, just to see what the, was the information that we were taking into account. All this information is also linked into the circuit. So if we go to a circuit, we will see that this circuit is also linked to several maintenances. We had some maintenance for demonstration and we see all the data here related just to give a good understanding of what this circuit is uh, gonna get impacted by multiple maintenances in the future. So hopefully this gave you a good understanding of all the information that the circuit maintenance can provide to you. So hopefully after the demo you have seen all the information that the circuit maintenance plugin gives to you and imagine about potential use cases that you can use this plugin for. For example, a simple one like reporting that is understanding how many maintenances a circuit has seen for a period of time or thinking about uh, adding alerting and this means that if you can know in advance that a uh, point of presence is going to have multiple maintenances, overlapping maintenances from different providers at the same moment in time in the future, you can take corrective actions. And obviously the automated operations, that is the information is in place, use this information just to change the state of your network, the, the intent of the network. So you can change BGP just to drag traffic out of a circuit or mute notifications just to get a good on-call on -call shift. And uh, an extra step would be why not create your own circuit maintenances? So usually a circuit maintenance comes from a network service provider, but if you can understand that your network is not behaving as you expect, you can create your own circuit maintenances and then let the automation do the work for you and maybe just drag a circuit that is not behaving as it should be. All this information is related in the these two references. The first one is the plugin itself. So it's an Autobot circuit maintenance plugin and the second is a library that is an external one that we are using and supporting that is the one that takes the information the raw information from the notifications and converts to a standard object so this brings us to the end of the demo hopefully you have seen the potentials of this plugin and just give it a try in the sandbox so thank you very much for your attention